last week, Builder AI, a UK-based startup once valued at $1.5 billion, backed by Microsoft and of course SoftBank, has collapsed back to $0. This comes at a time when literally all my friends are becoming billionaires by putting the letters AI in front of their startup names, but the party can't go on forever. Like most startups out there nowadays, Builder AI offered a vibe coding platform called Builder Studio that promised to make you software without any technical expertise required. But as it turns out, that promise is hard to keep in reality. And I kid you not, their solution to half-assed AI code was instead to use a room full of underpaid Indian programmers to massage the slop into a working demo. In other words, it's an artificial intelligence tool powered by biological intelligence. As ridiculous as that sounds though, it's not the main reason Builder AI collapsed. They were also engaging in outright fraud to make their murder go burr. In today's video, we'll find out what went wrong and what it means for the future of AI coding startups. It is June 3rd, 2025, and you're watching The Code Report. It's been a wild few days for the AI enthusiast. The Claude 4 was released, and it made Claude 3.7 slightly better. But then just after that, DeepSeek R1 gets an update that makes DeepSeek R1 slightly better. We're not talking about exponential runaway intelligence here, which is kind of disappointing, but we'll take what we can get to keep the hype train going. But maybe we'll go exponential soon, because a new paper just dropped describing the Darwin Godel machine, a self-improving AI system that iteratively modifies its Python code base to validate its own coding capabilities on software engineering benchmarks using frozen foundation models. It sounds kind of like Google Alpha code, but if it actually works, we really are cooked this time. But if your goal is to make money, the most important lesson to remember is that your tech doesn't actually need to work to get super rich. The Builder AI used that wisdom to create a product that quickly went from 0 to 1.5 billion, then back to 0 again. And on the website, they say, we make building an app so easy that even a caveman can do it. The way it works is that you prompt it just like ChatGPT, then a professional human-powered vibe coder steps in to fix all the slop. It's the perfect platform for people not talented enough to vibe code. The problem, though, is that their approach doesn't scale, and apparently the room full of Indian programmers was doing more work than the AI. That's not a good look, but the main reason they went bankrupt is that they were also committing outright fraud, allegedly, with a round-trip billing scheme with one of their partners. They were invoicing for work they never did to make their revenue go up. It's grow or die, but unfortunately one of their creditors found out and seized $37 million from their bank accounts, and that left them no choice but to declare bankruptcy. It seems like everywhere you go on the internet right now, you'll find clueless optimists is saying that 90% of white-collar work will be eliminated by AI within the next five years, to which the clueless pessimists respond by saying that AI is nothing more than the latest Silicon Valley pyramid scheme. The truth is likely somewhere in the middle, and it's going to be fun to watch this bubble pop like 2001 or explode into the singularity. Either way, it's a win. But the best way to get the most out of these AI tools is to learn how they work under the hood. And you can start doing that today for free thanks to this video sponsor, Brilliant. Their How AI Works course teaches you how to build your own language model from scratch, is starting with simple text prediction before scaling up to more advanced topics like image manipulation. Each lesson is designed to be highly interactive, so you develop critical thinking skills through problem solving, not memorizing. Try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for 30 days by visiting brilliant.org slash fireship or scan the QR code on screen to get 20% off a premium annual subscription. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.